Hey, this is Nick Moke for Digital Trends. Today we just got in the Vado HD 3rd Edition from Creative. This is a camcorder that's 180 bucks, comes with 4 gig of internal memory. Uh, but these camcorders, these mini sort of flip type camcorders, are sort of a dime a dozen. So we're going to take a look at some of the features today that make this one a little bit different and talk about why you might want to buy one. So the first thing that sets the Vado HD 3rd Edition apart a little bit is the size. You can see here, it's probably about the size, probably as close as we've seen to like a deck of cards. I actually have the Kodak ZI6 here for comparison. Uh, you can see significantly thinner. Um, and even the footprint is uh, much, much smaller. Now the ZI6 is actually Kodak's last generation product, but because these two both shoot 720p, and the ZI8, which is Kodak's newest one, shoots 1080p, we figured we'd compare these in size. Um, now, as I said, the Creative is 180, the ZI6 is 160. However, the ZI6 has no internal memory, and the Vado HD actually has four gigs, so if you actually include the cost of an SD card, they come out pretty similar. Um, for the money, we think the pocketable Vado HD is uh, a pretty pretty close bet. Um, however, the video quality we found when we compared it to Kodak, not quite up to par. Uh, Creative had a little bit of trouble uh, adjusting to uh, brighter scenes when you go from a really dark scene to a really bright scene. It, it seemed to lag behind. Uh, one of the nice things you do get when you're shooting with a Vado HD though is it has a wide angle en lens. If you're shooting inside, uh, that helps you get sort of more into the scene, whereas the Kodak products, both the ZI6 and the ZI8, are a little more narrow. They almost have a bit of zoom to them, if you will. Um, otherwise, it's a great camera. Uh, features pretty similar to all the other flip type mini cameras. Uh, you know, you've got your USB adapter that flips out of the bottom here. The directions are pretty simple. You obviously press the red dot in the middle there to start recording. Uh, fast forward, rewind, uh, zoom in and out. There's 2x digital zoom. As with most of these, you get no optical zoom. Wouldn't really recommend the digital. It sort of degrades the picture quality quite a bit. Uh, but for the size, we think uh, if this is the sort of size and design that appeals to you, you might want to consider the creative. And we actually got it uh, to give you a little demo there. Um, so as I said, uh, for 180 bucks, uh, not a bad purchase. The Kodak probably does better quality, but if you're more concerned with the, the style and sort of the form factor, the creative might be for you.